Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to introduce you the loops. See, we already discussed the concept of blocks, if block, if else block, if else if block and a nested if block. Right, in this video, I will explain, I will introduce you how to use the loops, what is the purpose of loops, how many loop statements are there. See, first of all, what is a loop? Loop means an iterator, something that you want to execute repeatedly, then we use loop concept. Right, what is the difference between block and loop? Suppose if you consider it is a block, if you consider is a block, block means executes only one time if the condition is valid. Suppose with a flow I will explain, it is a start, after that it will check the condition, it will check the condition, right? If the condition, whenever you write the condition there are two options, if condition is true, and if the condition is false, if the condition is true, so whatever the logic you defined inside the block executes. After executing the logic, it will come to end. Directly, it will come to end. Suppose if the condition is false, without executing any logic, it will come to end. There are two cases. First, it will check the condition. Two options, maybe the condition is valid or invalid. If the given condition is valid, logic executes how many times? Only one time, it will execute. One time. Suppose if it is a loop, how the loop gets execute? It's the same story, right? First, it will start. Now checking the condition, checking the condition. Then, again two options, if the condition is true or if the condition is a false. If condition is true, then same story, it will execute logic, but after executing the logic, it will not end. Again, it will go and check the condition. If the condition is true, again it will repeat. If the condition is true, again it will repeat until the condition become false. If condition is a false, then it will come to end. So this is how the block gets executed and this is how the loop gets executed. Now the question is, how many types of loops are there? Generally, in all programming languages, there are three types of loops, for, while and do while loop. Do while. So when we go with for loop, when we go with while loop and when we go with do while, do while is a simple letter we will discuss, for and while very very important. When we go with for and when we go with while, it's very simple. For loop means if you know the range exactly, how many repetitions you want to do. Right, I want to do 10 iterations, 1 to 10 I want to display, yes, you know starting point and you know ending point, then you can go with the for loop. I just want to display all elements in the array, right, how many elements are present in the array, no problem, with the length you can find out, if length is 5, 5 elements are there, so you can repeat with the loop, so when we go with while loop, when we don't know how many times we need to repeat. Suppose in a menu driven program, right, continuously I am performing operations. Suppose check one number is even number or not. After checking, do you want to check one more number? Then we ask them to check, enter yes or no. If the yes, again we need to repeat. Enter another number, again checking another number is even or not. After that, again we ask, do you want to continue until they quit? Right? Menu driven programs, continuously executing. How long? We don't know. Right? Until the user want to exit. Suppose, I want to read a file character by character. How many times I should repeat the loop? How I know how many characters are present inside the file? 
so while loop i just want to display all records which are present in the database very good but how many records are present we don't know then we go with while loop so when we know exactly how many number of repetitions are there go with the for loop if we don't know how many number of iterations are present we must go with a while loop hope you understood when we go with for loop when we go with while loop and what is the difference between block and loop how many times a block gets execute how many times a loop gets execute okay please practice thank you all